I know I'm still here so that means it's a good place if it was a bad place for me I would have gone back home Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you like. So like the title suggests, I'm going to be taking you through the certain things you need to know before you move to the country Canada. And without further ado, let me get straight into the first and very important point. I'm going to talk about the labor market. So about the labor market, is it so many people ask this question, is it easy to get a job in Canada? It's a yes and a no. Why? Depends on so many factors. If you're willing to take any job, yes, it's easy to get a job. If you have to go, if you're looking for a specific type of job, it may take you some time. That takes me to my next point. Your level of education really doesn't matter much when it comes to Canada. Like, education is not really given so much value as you'd go to somewhere like Europe it's it doesn't really nobody cares no, nobody cares, cares about that degree nobody cares about that masters or PhD that you hold are you willing to work you're good to go you're willing to work you're willing to take every opportunity that comes your way you're good to go because I've seen a lot of a lot of immigrants that have made it big time Next question I get asked, do I have to get a, to be having a job before I come to Canada? No, 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 no. You don't have to have a job prior. This you're going to find really funny. In totality, there are 2 million lakes and rivers. Yes, you heard me right. Very correct. 2 million rivers and lakes. Hmm. I know. Okay, I think all of you know this. Canada is the second largest country in the world after Russia. It will literally take you up to four years to just walk across the shoreline. That's how big it is. I'm going to use an example. Kenya get into Canada around 19 times. And the UK 40 times. Mm -hmm. It is divided into 10 provinces, three territories, and each have their own system of government. Can you imagine that? So there are over 100 visa programs for anybody who is willing or wants to move to Canada. Go to the official website and look for the program that fits you best. Apply for your visa and wait for your verdict. The decision of, on who qualifies to come to Canada and who doesn't depends on the immigration officials, not the people you know here. No. I wouldn't help you when it comes to the visa process. I wouldn't. So the head of state is Queen Elizabeth. That's funny. Represented by the governor general and the head of the government is the prime minister. The two national languages are English and French. English and French. I would literally go to Quebec and wouldn't understand a thing. I would not even read there. I don't speak French, so that's why I'm stuck in Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Having children is beneficial in so many ways in Canada. Some people do it as a business. I don't know. I think. I think. Like, because the government pays you. Every child that is born, there's a certain amount of money allocated to you, depending on your job. Every month, until that kid turns 18. This money is meant for their college fund. So when they turn 18, you give them that money, they will decide what to do with it. I think it's 18, 16 or 18. So you can imagine if you have seven kids in your household, <laughs> how much money that's going to be. Some parents keep this money for their kids. They keep it for, for the future. Some parents don't. Overall, people are really nice. Really nice. Yes, expect to hear the word sorry a lot when you're in Canada. Except to hear the word sorry a lot. People apologize for almost everything. Almost everything. And it's welcoming. So much welcoming. You, after we have reached, I've been helped by total strangers. People I didn't even know. And I'm so grateful for that. 
Now let's go to the diversity. It's a very diversified country. So many people are not, were not born in, born in Canada. Speaking of the diversified, 12% of the 12 percent of the people in the government are were not born and raised in Canada. Or immigrants. The longest street in the world, which is 1,896 kilometers, it will literally take you four hours to to drive across the street. Is Young Street, and it's based in Canada. I'm going to talk about the next point that brings a lot of debate, and this is the healthcare. Coming from a country that has poor healthcare, I appreciate the one that I have right now, and I feel blessed to have it. Literally, I'd go to the hospital and nobody is gonna ask me for money before they treat me. That's not how it happens here. It's the health that comes first, and then the money will come later. So even though you're gonna run into debt, but at, at least you're healthy, or you, your healthcare is taken care of, that's if you don't have, um, most of the time it's if you're, you don't have the health uh, insurance or if you're not a permanent resident or a citizen or a protected person. But first of all, it's free. Who wouldn't want a free healthcare? Canada experiences five, six time zones. It's literally 10 o'clock in one city and nine in the other in the same country with different time zones speaking of which in de depending on the season territories like nunavut experience 24 hours of daylight like it's the the sun doesn't go down for 24 hours in certain seasons and 24 hours of darkness in certain seasons in canada is extremely cold you have to be ready for that extremely cold I'm complaining about negative 25 in the winter in Toronto and Toronto is one of the warmest places to live in in Canada mm -hmm. I mean Vancouver BC are good Alberta they, they go up to negative 40 degrees in the winter so be ready for extreme weather and in the summer there's wildfires too but overall canada is a very good country the people are nice it's a beautiful place to live in i'm not going to be one of those people who are going to discourage you from coming to canada no i'm still here so that means it's a good place if it was a bad place for me i would have gone back home i hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions or you have any comments to add can you leave them in the comment section below and I'll be able to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, have a moment of your choice. Until next time, Archie Brain.